So, you got a lot of, uh, like you said, it, and it's true, man pleasing. And your apostle Paul said, was I crucified for you? Was Apollos crucified for you? No. Yahweh Shah was crucified for all of us. And like he said, Yahweh Shah said in John the 10th chapter, he said, what? I am the door of the sheepfold. See what I'm saying? So all the mercy and the glory really go see how about Shimei Yahweh Shah. See what I'm saying? None of us can exalt. The scripture said, he that exalts himself shall what? Shall be abased. Base. I'm going to get another scripture. So you still got dudes man worshiping. That's why a lot of dudes is still following false doctrines because of their so-called teacher. They're like, well, whatever my teacher say, I'm just following it. Because you don't got a brain of your own, man. Okay? You don't got a brain of your own, man. That's what, the Tim man? With the Wizard of Oz? Only if I had a brain? <laughs> yeah, only if I had a brain. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Only if I had a brain. Job 32, verse 31, 21. It said, let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person. Neither let me give flattering titles unto men. For I know not to give flattering titles in doing so. My maker would soon take me away. So when you give flattering titles unto men, or you put all your trust in men, the, the Most High is going to take you out. What did the Most High say? Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. A lot of men, especially in this truth, they make other men gods and deities. You see what I'm saying? And the Most High hates that, man. Because like we brought out earlier, we're all men, but we all fall short. Every last one of us. The scripture says, we get Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 64, verse 6, it says, It's the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 64 and 6. For we all are as an, an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. The scripture says what? Your righteousness is like filthy rags to the most high. Because why? It said in James, if you break one law, you broke them all. The Heavenly Father is an extreme perfectionist. That's why in the new covenant, the law has to be embedded in us. Because we're not going to be able to sin anymore. You see what I'm saying? But we all fall short. From the greatest man in Israel to the least. That's why Solomon even said, so guess what? We can't put all our trust in men. I mean, you follow certain men that you see that the Most High is dealing with, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that he's a man just like you. And he falls short just like you. The Apostle Paul even said, I do that which I hate. He said, it's not me, but it's sin that dwelleth in me because we all in the flesh. That's why Yahweh Shai said, what the spirit is willing, but what? The flesh is weak. And he was the only perfect man. That's why he was the only one that would, had that title, man. That's why the priesthood changed because of what he did for the nation of Israel. That's why all the glory go to him. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20. This is Solomon. He said, For it is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. I'm going to read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20. This is what Solomon said. All right, the wisest king that ever lived. He said, For there's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. So there's no just man. What just mean? Following the law, statutes, and commandments. There's no man on the planet earth today that's keeping the commandments and don't sin. There's not one. So you have dudes in the truth bickering, Oh, it's been not long enough. When you up, you got a damn three o'clock shadow. Or oh, his his head is a thing. When you got a you <laughs> you got a damn light haircut as well. You bickering over small things, which we don't. I don't care what you do. We don't care what you do. Why are you so infatuated with what brothers is doing? I can care less what you do, man. Live your life and move on. See what I'm saying? That's called that's just jealousy and that's envy. 
And like the scripture says, we all fall short. The scripture said, we just read it. There's not a just man that doeth good and sinneth not. All right? Because remember when, <laughs> we could bring up so much stories, but we not one for drama, man. All right? We not one for drama. That's why the Apostle Paul said that what? No man is justified by the law. You got to be justified by faith. You have dudes out there teaching that it's all about the law. It's not all about the law. Do you have to keep the law? Absolutely. Are you going to be saved based on keeping the law? Nope. You're going to be saved based on your faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Your faith in Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. not in a man. Because he's the only one that can save you or redeem you from this current captivity. Mm -hmm. All right? So we don't got the time for that, man. So we moving on. Because we about to be faced with death and destruction. That's what you got. It's a damn police state out here. Turn the camera around, huh? Where are we preaching at? Right on the cops. See what I'm saying? It's a police state out here, man. When martial law hit the streets of America, all this walking them down and your freedom and your liberties, that's going to be thrown out the window. That's why it behooves our people to get this word while they still can. The teachers are still out here. You know I'm saying you got brothers in every state, different countries, pushing that truth. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be endowed, and that's what we're supposed to be bending ourselves in in the scriptures, living by this word, man. Truth says, "Study to show thyself approved." Like the Apostle Paul said, First uh, Corinthians chapter nine, verse. 25. And every man that striveth, striveth for the mastery, is temperate in all things. We all striving for the mastery. Okay? We all learn in the scriptures, well, you have to learn how to apply the scriptures as well. That's where understanding comes from. Alright? It says, uh, Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. A lot of dudes just doing this for envy and strife. A lot of this, a lot of dudes are just doing it to be seen of men. Oh, look at that dude. That dude is powerful in the scriptures. Da, 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 da. They want to be seen of men. They look if they have ulterior motives. But we're doing it for incorruptible crowd. The only person we trying to please is the Lord. Mm -hmm. Say. We're not looking for fame in Israel. We're not looking for glory in Israel. That's right. Actually, we're being fools right now. We're acting exactly. like fools right now. We look like fools out here in the damn snow. Cold, cold weather, man. Windy as hell. Amongst these peons out here preaching out of a Bible. You know how foolish we look? But that, that shows our faith. It says, um, it says, uh, uh, now I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. So you don't want to be one that's fight beating the air. You, 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 you throw punches at nothing. Nah, you want to learn how to do the technique right. Learn that defense. Like Floyd Mayweather. Guess what? Because he strived for the mastery in his field. Or Michael Jordan and the Kobe Bryant. Guess what? They would strive for the mastery in their field. So now we have this word. Guess what? We also strive for the mastery. Yeah, we learn in the scriptures, but now we learn how to apply the scriptures. See what I'm saying? And we, our faith really going to get tested in the hour of martial law and the chip. That's when... Uh, the most high gonna separate the boys from the men. And all you do is to have that effeminate spirit, that drama queen spirit, you ain't gonna make it. You have that RB spirit, okay? You let your woman dictate <laughs> to you what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna make it, man. It says, uh, verse 27 For I kept under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That's the Apostle Paul. That is a great Apostle Paul. One of the top elders at that time that was in Israel. He said he had to keep himself into subjection. Because he didn't want it to be a castaway. So how could, the, going back to our topic before, how could you put your trust solely in man? Well, Paul was saying, I got to examine myself. I'm not trying to be a castaway. And that goes for all of us in this truth, man. We're not trying to be... Like the man in Luke, the 14th chapter. Uh, 
think it's the first one. Basically, it's a parable on a, a man building a house. I'll find a scripture later. Basically, it's a parable of a man building a house. And guess what? He stopped building it mid midway through. And everybody mocked and they laughed at it, man. And that goes for us in this truth. If you come out here preaching, and then you go back into the world, people are going to be like, well, hold on. Once you walked to them crazy guys preaching, what happened? Why are you not out there saying? Why you ain't out there chanting that no more? What happened? You gave up the good fight? Guess what? You embarrassed yourself, and you also embarrassed the Lord. You put him to shame. So guess what the scripture says? What? There's there's no hope for men like that. We're gonna read that. So dudes out there, three more minutes. Three? Yeah. So like dudes out there that came into this truth that you put your hand in the plow and also taking long breaks. Because you had dudes that came into this, right? You're gonna get it. Luke 14. I believe it's 23. It says uh and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And they would make multitudes with him, and turn and said unto them, If any man come to me, uh, Oh, let me read further up. It said, and then he said, a certain man made a great supper and bade many. And he sent his servants at his supper time to say to them that were bidding, come, for all things are now ready. And they all went one consent to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and must needs go and see it. And I pray thee have excuse. See? And it's, an, another said, I have bought five yoking of oxen, and I go prove them, and I pray thee, make me excuse. Another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the Lord, you had certain men, they went away for six months, came back, went away for another three months, came back, oh my job, well I can't come out there, I can't be seen out there. Guess what, that's the, like the Lord said, that's making an excuse. That's denying him before men. And you keep putting your job or your woman or your children before the Lord, you ain't going to make it. We have one master, and that master is Yahweh Shai, man. Get that through your head. All right? Get that through your head, man. We have one master, and that's Yahweh Shai. All right? So this is what the Lord said. He said, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and his wife and children and brethren and sisters, Yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And it don't mean um, hating me coming up against your parents, cursing them out in their own house. It means if you put anything in his truth before the Lord, guess what? You ain't worthy to be his disciple. So with that, you know, we're going to say shallow one, peace and safety. Double honor to the elders of GMS. Shalom to all you Akim that's out there preaching the knowledge and the truth and sincerity. May Yahweh Bashim Yashah be with you. And all you dudes out there that's being bitches that you want to continue your drama and your foolishness and you still bitter about the past, to hell with you, man. We're going to stay out here and we're going to keep doing this work. With that, Shalom. Shalom.